Okay, so I'm Glenn McCulloch. I'm the Clinical Director of the South Australian Audit of Surgical Mortality. Um, we have a number of acknowledgements to make. Uh, SA Health, College of Surgeons, MEGA, the Medical Indemnity Insurer, uh, Sanofi Pharmaceuticals, and the SASM staff, all of whom, with the exception of the SASM staff, have contributed financially to the uh, evening. I know you're all here just for the free food and the free CBD points. <laughs> Let us ask the question, why are we talking about communication? I draw your attention to one, an article which was published uh, in April 2016, arising out of some work done through SASM, looking at the national data, the ANZ audits of surgical mortality. And I might just mention that the first author here at the time that this paper was written and accepted was a third year medical student. Uh, we at SASM have had about uh, six or seven papers accepted, uh, written by medical students with the assistance of the staff. And nationwide, we've had about 40 publications accepted in the last uh, uh, eight or 10 years. So this paper looked at neurosurgical deaths. And one of the conclusions was that amongst neurosurgical deaths nationwide, a lack of communication or poor communication was the second most common serious clinical management issue. It's not restricted to neurosurgery. All specialties have a similar problem. And indeed, the treating surgeons themselves reported on the surgical case forms that in 4.2% of cases, there was a communication failure of some sort. Um, uh, we may then ask communication failures with whom? Between disciplines, physicians, surgeons, emergency department, intensive care unit, anaesthetists. Within the surgical team, poor communication between junior and senior staff and with the nursing staff. During handover, uh, one shift to the next or from one group of clinicians to the next. And also uh, problems with communicating with patients and family members. So these are the speakers uh, who will uh, be speaking to us. And the first person is George Kiroff. George does not have any slides, so we'll leave this slide up. Uh, George and I have been friends for many, many years since we are registrars of the QEH. Uh, George is an associate professor in, uh, uh, and his main area of interest is uh, general surgery. Uh, George is going to talk to us, as well as communication issues in general surgery, he's going to give a, a couple of personal vignettes. George.